Okay, Bombay Alu. That's what we're doing now on the next episode of the Tattooed Curry Geezer. A Bombay Alu. There's the ingredients. And there's the list. So there's, there's my cheat, okay? That is my cheat. But the rest of it, panch farang, bay leaves, salt, pepper, ginger, garlic, paste, full tomatoes, tomato puree, watered down, two teaspoons of mixed powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri, um, a good pinch of methy leaves, half a diced-ish onion. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just about to chop up a couple of green chilies. The oil is already in the pan, getting warm. It's quite a lot of oil in this, so I'm not using base gravy, so there's about four tablespoons of oil in this. Right, that's the two green chilies chopped up and the onions, so straight in with that. Just give that a good old stir for about three or four minutes. Right, in with the bay leaves and the punch fry. Give all that a mix in. Looking good. Right, time to go in now with the ginger garlic paste, so straight in with that. <clears throat> it will sizzle, so just stand back a little bit. I'll just show you that. Oh, look at that. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Okay, I've got it on a low flame or heat. Yeah, put that in and then mix it all in. Right, with, yeah, that's right. You're sizzling now, aren't you? Right, okay, four tomatoes. Okay, that's the size I use. A bit bigger than the golf ball, I suppose. So I'm going to chop and dice three of them. And then the other one, I'm going to cut into four or six, I haven't decided yet, to go in at the end. But for now, we're just going to chop and dice up three of them. A little something like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Right, so straight into the onions and mix already with them. And a bit of salt. Oh, if I can open it. About three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Give her all that a good old mixing. Lovely stuff. Right, in with the powder spices. So that's two teaspoons of my mix powder, which you can see, actually you can't. You'll have to go on Facebook or Instagram, Tattoo Curry Geezer, and you will find out my mix for my mix powder. And a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, which is a mild chili powder. It's still got a kick to it. But if you want it off, so then add a hot chilli powder. But cashmere is the mild one. Right, I better get that stirred in and fried off. Oh, this is looking absolutely awesome. Right, tomato paste. So what we use here is two tablespoons of tomato puree, four tablespoons of water, and just mix it. That's how we form our paste. Don't use passata. Ugh. Awful stuff. Got two pinches of methy leaves, so I'm just going to put one in now. And what else we got to put in here? I'm struggling now to think. What is it? Oh yeah, potatoes. Right, I'm going to be putting them in. If there's any, you know, that's about the right size. If there's any bigger, then I'm just going to cut them in half. Nope, they all look fine. That one I'll cut in half. But, like that, fine. Right. They're going to cook nicely in there now. Yeah, it's a cheat. If you don't like cheating, then use a normal potato. You know, this is how I do it, it's up to you. Right, give it all a mix in. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Beautiful stuff. Right, I'm just going to leave that to simmer away on a low flame now for about five minutes. Then we'll be putting in the last bit of the methy leaves and the last tomato. I have cut up a few more because I realised they were a bit large. But look at that, absolutely gorgeous. You can add 
coriander leaves if you wish chop them up first i haven't got any so obviously i'm not going to use them but look at that absolutely gorgeous right nearly done now so in with the butter that is optional i think there's about 30 gram there starting my diet next week so getting all the fatty stuff out of the way first another big pinch of coriander not coriander methy leaves nearly done now just the last little bit of tomato to go in which i'll be doing literally right at the end very very close now it is quite oily so what you want to do when you dish it out is if i can find it is dish it out with a slotted spoon ladle what you call it dish it out with that so obviously the oil stays in you can keep the oil you can keep the oil for your main course because obviously this is a side right getting ready now to dish it out just as soon as we've put the tomato in which i said we'd do at the end so that's three five so that's five pieces i'm just going to put that one on top at the end right stir it in dish it out there we have it guys bombay alu i will get one of them plate spinners one day absolutely gorgeous nice and spicy potato side dish i mean you can have it as a curry stick some rice in that you can have it as a main that's half the portion because I did do a double. But look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have a taste. It looks that good. <laughs> oh yes, bit of tomato, bit of potato. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, absolutely divine. Mmm. Um, I think I'm going to eat this. It might be a bit too hot for my missus, Natasha. So, oh, that is absolutely perfect for me. Yeah, I'm going to eat this. <laughs> I am doing a beef Rogan Joss later. I will use the other one as a side for my plate for that. So there we have it. Oh, I can't believe how tasty that is. Even without coriander. Right, so... Please find me on Instagram. Please find me on Facebook. Please subscribe. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes, yeah, subscribe here. Hit the bell. You'll get all my future curries. Like I say, I'm doing a beef rogan josh later. So, there we have it. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to tuck into that. Tattooed curry geezer. Out. I've got to say, that was absolutely amazing. I wasn't supposed to eat it. That's supposed to be the side for later. Like I say, I've got another one. The heat, for me, was absolutely spot on. It was just under a madras heat. You know, like madras, gel frazy, garlic chilli. You know the sort of heat I'm on about. I'd say it was just a little bit under that, which, for me, is absolutely perfect. Beautiful flavours, but had a kick. And that was... <laughs> I don't normally come back after I've eaten, but guys, try it. Please, it's easy. And this Panch Ferran, I'm going to get asked another hundred times, what is it? Just go and get some. eBay, Amazon, Asian store. Panch Ferran, it's a five spice fine seed. Okay, five spice. Onion seed, mustard seed, coriander seed, cumin seed. Fennel seed. They're your five spices. They're really fine. Put them in at the beginning. They'll pop away. Don't grind them. They're fine anyway. Just get some pants for an absolute game changer. Right, this time I'm definitely gone. <laughs>